Yo, it's good y'all. Welcome back to another video of Los Angeles Chargers franchise. Last episode, we ended up picking up a win against the Bengals in a killing. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> yeah, I say it. We killed them. <laughs> no, we really did kill that team uh, last week, man. Uh, making record 3-3. Three and three. Do we lead time possession again? I think, yeah, we. it's like we're always going to lead time possession. Just Herbert threw the ball for 330 yards, one into which was shouldn't have been. He threw five into. I don't think I mentioned that in the last game, but golly, he threw five interceptions. That's crazy to me. Yeah, their rushing game was very hard to stop. Cream Hunt, got to play better with Cream Hunt. Uh, receiving, we, we, I think we're good with throwing the ball. I think we uh, got our intos out the way. I just think we need to uh, change our playbooks a little bit. Someone actually did uh, let me know about a playbook change that that I <laughs> that I should go with. I'm actually looking for the comment right now. Bills are saying for offense and Colts for D. I think my defense is actually pretty decent now, but you know I'll, I'll still look into it. I do like Baltimore's defense, but we'll try uh, Indianapolis defense. Well, I'll look at it. Now it's a four three. I don't. I don't really like running four threes like that. I'm gonna stick with Baltimore. D. I think our defense is playing well, but I already run Saints uh, offense, so I'm gonna try Buffalo offense this time. We'll see how that works for us. Hopefully it's something good, uh, especially how our team plays. Last week awards was Eli Applewood. He had a really good game. He had a, is it going to show it? <laughs> Five tackles with a tackle for loss in there. A sack, a in tow, which was a pick six. I think we played better than Patrick Mahomes. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. Chiefs are six and one. I checked the record earlier. We got a frustrated receiver in Joe Reed. Uh, we're gonna get you involved, bro. I promise you. Five touches. That's all you want. I get. You. I you get five touches normally, so let's not even like act like you don't. Um, who is this? Dorian Dale. Three touchdowns or 150 receiving and rushing. Three touchdowns, huh? We can try. And I believe this is Emmanuel Mosley. It is. So I believe he's already star. Hold him 200 yards. He needs one or more into tackle for loss, uh, force fumble, sacks, you know, that stuff. I think we got to neutralize him by not, like, I guess throwing to him or running to his side. Which I don't think he'll be in pass coverage a lot. I think he'll be more of a, a, like, a run stuffer. 400 combined yards. I believe we could do that. And we're going to get... Do we want to re-sign anybody in this episode? O'Shea and Zimmer is acting for 23 mil. I think... Uh, this is a tough one. Because you're, you're 25. But both of these guys are like the same thing. He's 27, but I think he plays better. And O'Shea and Zimmer is 25, but he's only at 77. And he's not... He's, he's always going to be a starter for us, but... It's just he doesn't, I don't know. Jerry Tillery, I think we do want to bring you back for like three years. Yeah, that's exactly what I want, three years. I'm going to boost that up. Give you some more. Oh, actually, we have to boost the salary up a little bit more. How's this? Great, you resign. Melvin Dunlap is a no. You are a no. You are a no. I think the rest are no. Uh, Dan Feeney. I can bring back for two years. You're not really progressing in a way I like, but we could bring you back. Good. Gabe Neighbors. I actually do like you a lot. Yeah, I like you for the short yardage situations and goal line stuffs. We'll bring you back. Uh, 
And I think that's all we're going to bring back. I'm still going to have to make a decision on these two guys. Yeah, I think a, a, a thing they need in um, franchise mode is a free agency thing to tell you who is going to be a free agent. Because right, it's like you're just hoping, like, oh, I hope someone's in there that I could use, you know? Upgrades, Drew Tranko is going to be an 80 now. So, go to a pass coverage, and uh, plus two to man, plus one to zone. And she's going to leave you a secure tackler, Jerry Tillery, who just re-signed. We're going to go with, uh, going to go with run stuffer, push up to 77. Plus one to block shed, hit power, pursuit tackle. Uh, let's get that kick power up. Probably not even gonna be kick power. It might be. Okay, one to kick power. What is that now? 98 kick power. You already nailing like 50 yarders. Now it's gonna be even better. Mike Edgar. Bring that agility up. Let's see what they give you. Plus two to pass block finesse. Like I said, you're not horrible. You're really not bad. Really, you're not. Yeah, honestly, you're really not. Like, I actually do like how your stats are looking. They're looking really good. Keenan Savage, who really doesn't get any playing time for us. Wish you did, man, but it's, just, it's hard for who those edge rushers, man. We have so many good edge rushers on this team. And we're going to go with Justin Herbert. I don't know what we want for you here. I really don't know what we want for you. What do we want? I might go speed. Because I feel like you hit most of your throws. Like, your medium accuracy is kind of poor. But you have really good throw power, in my opinion. What do we want to go for you? We're going to go improvise. I boost you up to 84. Can I get a speed? Don't really get a speed. I get agility. Don't under pressure. Break sack. I guess that's good. I guess. And we'll let the CPU do the rest. Let's see who the X-Factors are. DeForest Buckner, kind of expected. Darius Leonard, didn't really expect him to have an uh, X-Factor. I actually did check that in, like, uh, the beginning, well, before I started the episode, it was interesting. Trent Williams, and that's all they have. We really have Marcus Pruitt as a, a superstar, but he's just, like, a 70 now he's like a 60 something, so he's not gonna show it. Oh yeah, another thing I want to ask is do you do do people like the Okay, that's I'm actually in a weird way. Do people like the upload schedule with the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uploads? I know I've been doing it for a while and it's kind of weird to ask it now that I'm I'm gonna stick with it obviously, but I'm just saying do people enjoy those uploads? Do you enjoy the time they come out? I usually upload these one or one to two o'clock. I've been mixing it in with those time frames. Or do y'all want later up, up, uploads? Like at 5 o'clock-ish. Or do you want it early in the morning? Or late in the afternoon? Like 6, 7? Like, I don't know. Because I could do those things. I, I, I could upload some stuff. And I do need suggestions for other videos. We're always going to have these franchise videos. But we need, we need like one-off videos, you know? Like, should I get into rebuilds? It's probably late in the year to get into that. But should I? I don't know. I don't think I'm a good rebuilder. I'm horrible with money. Horrible with money. So bad with money in this game. So I'm so bad with it. But we have some big games. Hunter Henry had a huge game last week. Eight receptions, 178 yards. Two touchdowns, I think it was. But yeah, we're up for a big game. We have uh, some breakout players. Hopefully we can get those. And uh, Dorian Dale and Emmanuel Mosley. Really? He broke up immediately. That's just incredible, bro. It's like, fuck am I supposed to do with that shit? You know, I don't like any of this shit. There you go. Hunter Henry. Big yards. Was just a complete drag? And we turned that into a 22-yard game. I don't know if 
if I like any of these fucking plays right here, but there we go. That's Dorian, I believe. Picking up a couple. I think all my targets to the end zone are gonna go to Dorian. And I know that's kinda cheesy and what whatever, but like, we need that scenario. This run game is so fucking horrible, man. What a catch! Preston Williams. Seeing him just like sitting on that round, like why not go towards him? Can we get some positive yards on this run, please? They didn't want to score. I promise you, I went back for a reason. We could have easily got that, but no. We need Dorian Dale to get this. There we go, Dorian. Come on. We're going to get you this uh, superstar dev. We're going to get you it. I promise you we are. I promise you we are. It may be cheesy, but it's not really cheesy because, like, he was a great receiver and he was open on that one. We didn't, like, force feed him the ball at all. But I did plan to go to him. <laughs> I had a time. I guess that is force feeding, but not in the way you would think. I guess. Um, interesting. A blitz was not the call of the first play. Ah, I was right above that. <sighs> I don't know why I still thought it was a run. And short. Look like they might take their three on this. And they will. Could be a fake. Always got to be prepared for the fake. And no fake hair, just a field goal that looked short, but ends up falling good. It's gonna put it three to seven. They had a very, I would say, productive drive. The run game wasn't really there, but we was prepared to stop the run a lot. Fuck! If he could have just got that off. That would have been so golden, bro. Come on. Yeah, it's like he kind of had a step on him, but he really didn't. Wow. Emmanuel Mosley. Just got torched on that by uh, Michael Pittman Jr. There you go. Way to hold on to that. Trying to break a tackle. Not happening, but picking up some yards with Dorian. Are they actually blitzing? They are. There we go. Oh my god, if I would have I could have got that spin and then uh whoever would have picked up that block. Daylight. Daylight. Try to run to this left side, cause like this run game's just not working out for us. That time it kinda does. There we go. Beautiful. Let's try to go with that again. Dorian. He drops at the last minute? Are you kidding me? Knocked out the last second. Yeah, they kind of still want me to go for it. 
I agree. I do want to go for it. Throwing here. Preston. Wish that was Dory in that spot, but we get Preston Williams for a touchdown. Gonna put it third or well, fourteen to ten. Uh once again, offense is always flowing for us, but it just depends on the fucking defense. Are they gonna defend? Cause that last time they did not. We changed our offense. We didn't change our defense though, so. Don't know why offense I mean our defense is struggling right now. Well not really. We only gave up like one touchdown so far, so. Still early in the game. Did he break that up? I don't think that was him, actually. I think that was short. What? Good catch, Dorian. Oh, man. Seven, uh, already seven catches. I promise you I'm not purposely targeting him like this. It's just that he's literally always open. And if he isn't always open, I know I could depend on him for a catch most of the time. There we go. Just truck him over. And Hunter Henry to catch. We have to involve uh, Joe Reed a little bit now. There we go. Just I, I love those RPOs with either like an inside zone run and a uh, a screen. That's such an easy decision for me. Please give me some blocks. He actually did. It's actually a good run. Probably gonna go to the two minute warning. And it is. We're gonna let it go to two minute warning. Come on, Dorian. You have to come away with those. There we go. I wanted a fade, but the fade just wasn't working. There's going to be a Dorian second touchdown of the day. Probably like his 10th catch so far. And he is on his way to Superstar Dev. Now, the only person we really got to really worry about is Manuel Mosley. Probably not going to hold them under 200 yards for the day. That's pretty, like, that's hard on itself. I don't even think I probably could do that as a rookie. I mean, like, that's it. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know if I could do that. Good sack by Chen Nwosu. Big hit. We're going to call a timeout. That's going to be fourth down. They're probably going to punt back and we might have another chance to score. There we go. Getting the first down, I think. Might be short. Yeah, we are short. Hunter Henry out the middle, getting a truck, and now we will call timeout. That's a good pass breakup. What a catch, Dorian Dale. Oh my god. And that is his superstar dev right there. Really good catch. And yeah, what a way to secure the ball right there on Malik Hooker. And we're up big. 28 to 10. Offense rolling, defense is playing how it should. 
Um, yeah, our, our team is kind of flowing right now. This is the best we have, like, even though we don't have the best record we have had yet, we, we're playing the best overall we have played in a very, very long time. Like, the first season, that was just, like, because I didn't have the right difficulty and the right uh, sliders. The second season, I think we played probably identical to how we're playing right now, actually. And, yeah, like, I say the second season, like, when we made all those trades, and we just went on a crazy win streak uh, to make ourselves go into playoffs. And, yeah, we played really well. We just didn't play well enough in the playoffs, obviously. Oh, my gosh. Perfect run. Really good blocks. Yeah, I didn't mention this earlier. They have an really interesting uh, res uh, running. What am I trying to say? Great. He was still going. I ran hard flats on that. That was probably my fault. I probably shouldn't have done that. Probably won't do that again. But yeah, I did say they have an interesting running back core on this team. And I'm in coverage. Emmanuel Mosley, we need you to like get some picks. Something. We need something from you, bro. No, 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 back up. That is a pick for Derman James. It's probably going to be a pick six. Actually, won't be. Actually, won't be. Getting the first. Dorian. Looks like he's just going to walk in easily. And who who else? Justin Jackson still in Kareem's hunt. <laughs> Shy. Oh, man. It's going to be 34 to Ted. Is that a tackle for loss? It is. I'm just no gain. Yep, that's tackle for loss. Like, am I really supposed to be there? And that is a tackle for a loss. Joey Bosa in the zone. And will they go for this? They're just going to take them out. They're actually not going for it. Interesting call. Let's go. Good D. I seen that. I thought they were going to run it, but nah, they didn't. There we go. Justin, not Justin, Joe Reed. Wow. I tried to go outside, but they bumped me back in, so. Whatever. Yup, there we go, flag. And he's going to get it. He just steals all his fucking shine. That's so annoying. It's going to be 41 to 10. They have me in a D lineman. Annoying.
Who's on the running back, though? And I don't think we're going to get this dev up for Emmanuel Mosley, as they are well over 200 passing or 200 yards in general today. So it'll be kind of difficult to do that. As we do get the intel with, I believe, Derwin James again. Second intel of the game. How are you guys 6 and 2? Or 5 and 2? Whatever the fuck you guys are. There we go. Kareem. This could be the game you get over 100 yards. Let it be the game you get over 100 yards. Fuck, I'm about to block like everybody. Yeah, I said block everybody and like attack Dorian Dale quick. Just like that. Because we've seen him blitzing. Could have been an intro. But it wasn't. Such a tough grab. Do we settle? Or do we just go for it because we can? I think we go for it because we can. No one's going to fall for this. They actually kind of did. Just kind of want to get Joe Reed his uh, catch. And once again... Should I uh, be Emmanuel Mosley? I am actually am going to be Emmanuel Mosley. See what I can get it into. And he gets sacked. By Nintendo Rosu again. Fifth sack this season. Are they running this? Please don't tell me they're actually running. Another intro. Eli Apple. Yup. I feel like literally everybody is getting some good defensive stuff except Emmanuel Mosley. And they're above 200 yards on the game, so it's like. What good is it for us? He's at 90 yards. Please get over 100. Two more yards. Two yards, fellas. This is all we need from is two yards. I believe he got it. 26 rushes for 100 yards. Finally, Kareem Hunt has done it. I feel like he has before, but I don't know. Then again, it doesn't feel like he has. I'm not sure if uh, Joe Reed got his yards yet. I mean, not his yards, his catches. Might look to target him on this one. Will I? False start. Cool. Fuck. Oh my gosh, it was about to be a perfect game again. But he throws it into. So annoying. There's like no way he actually like does this, right? He actually passes. He actually passed. They're not going hurry up. I mean, they're down by a million, so I guess. Okay, he actually got the intel, though, so. I don't think that's what you need, though. I think you need, like, 
two of something, so I'm gonna like punt back to them. Once again, I doubt we're gonna be able to get an into with him again. It'll probably be a miracle if we do. But you never know. We could bait him. Okay, there's a second on the clock. Please throw it to my man. He didn't throw it to me. Fuck! Okay. Good game, I guess. Nah, I guess it was a good game. We just really couldn't get that, uh... I don't think we got it. We might have not got it for Joe Reed, and we might have not got it for Emmanuel Mosley. But that's all right. That's really all right. We got it for uh, the most important one, Dorian Dale, who we really needed that badly for, in my opinion. Because he deserves it. He was a great player for us. Fabulous player. Once again, Justin Herbert. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, he's he, he's my new pick for MVP. Honestly, they're just 45 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. Interception is just annoying. He threw a 267, one touchdown, and four intos. Um, you know, it is what it is. Finally got over a hundred receiving, receiving, rushing yards with uh, Hunter Henry, Marlon Mack, and. James White did not have a good day running the ball. Receiving, Dorian Dell caught the ball 15 times for 173 yards. Hunter Henry caught the ball 6 times for uh, 102. It was a quiet game for Hunter Henry, honestly. Joe Reed 4 times for 55 yards. And uh, Preston was going to caught the ball 2 times for 15 yards. He had a touchdown there. Dorian Dell had 3 touchdowns. Uh, Emmanuel Mosley, though. Just... Did not really have a good game, in my opinion. Uh, he had the end to at the end. Just couldn't get there with the tackles for loss or forced fumbles. You know, it is what it is. Oh, what a game, right? I guess. Uh, let's see. Did we get it for Joe Reed? Um, man, listen. I, I'm sorry. Man. I, th I, th I thought we hit you for, for the amount of catches you needed. My apologies. Dorian Dale. Superstar Dev. Finally. Let's go. And. Manuel Mosley. Probably did not get it. I thought he was already star. So he did get it. Cool. Cool. And we did have over 400 yards as a total. Um, moving on to next week. We have the Cardinals. They probably don't have a good record. They suck in some. Four and three. Really no breakout player. Interesting. Um, uh, we're going to do upgrades and then we're just going to get out of here. Nario Diggs is going to be a 80 overall now. I think we should up your... Dang, you're not really a good cornerback, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. You're a good man. We're going to up that slot because that's where you do play a lot of your snaps from is the slot. And it's going to be plus two to man, plus two to play rec. Joe Reed getting upgraded to an 80. You don't really play in a slot when you as a deep threat. Probably should have went physical, but we went deep threat. Still get decent amount of stuff. I have to get plus one to speed. What is your speed on now? 91 speed. Emmanuel Mosley, who just got star. I think you need... Your man and zone is both good. Uh, let's go zone. We run mo ma mostly zone. I'll say Moanly Zone. Uh, Melvin Dunlap. 
probably we got the CPU do that. And Dorian Dell is gonna be upgraded to eighty five. So he should have two abilities, I believe now. I just play upper morale, so he's not really eighty five. Well he's a, if he comes to eighty six then yeah he will be. I think you need that medium route run needs to go up. And go to slot, does that would you eighty six? It doesn't. That's a little annoying. Oh I guess it does. I don't know. So you're gonna have route apprentice and deep out elite. Do you want deep out elite? I might give you stop and go. Not stop and go, grab and go. And route apprentice. I think I'm gonna keep you with give you a jukebox. We'll change that next episode. And we'll let CPU do the rest. And yeah, that isn't gonna do it for this episode. Of uh actually let's actually check the standings. So this is kind of a tight race for um the AFC West, obviously Chiefs are six and two, but we've seen them in this position before last season and they kinda crumbled. We do face them next week after this Cardinals game. But uh we lose Cardinals games when we have to win. To stay in contention. We lose this we move move down to four and four. If we do win this we move to five and three. And who knows? The Chiefs might lose this next game and move to six and three. We never know. But that isn't going to do it for us. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like. Uh, give me suggestions of what you want to see on the channel or how you think the series is going. Our suggestions for this series in general. I always will take suggestions from the people that watch the videos and whatnot. Yeah. Um, if you want to watch something, there's, there's videos on the screen. I hope there's videos on the screen right now. Should be like a playlist. Uh, my most recent video. And yeah, that should be on the screen right now. Anyways, peace. Even though I am a good one, I gotta dodge all the cops. Cause I be carrying packs occasionally. Bro, tell me, hold on the Glock.